I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. MAGA Republican Lauren Boebert was just caught on tape being handed a memento from gun reform activist celebrating the life of a 10-year-old victim of a school shooting. And Lauren Boebert took this memento and she threw it in the garbage. I'm going to play the footage in just one moment, but this is one of the most reprehensible things I've ever seen. So activists were in the halls of Congress. They were handing out these pins to members of Congress of green Converse shoes that Maitai Rodriguez was wearing when her life was taken by gun violence at Uvalde at Robb Elementary School about a year ago. And they handed these pins to many members, and then they handed a pin to MAGA Republican Lauren Boebert and explained the meaning of the pin and how it honored the life of this 10-year-old victim of the school shooting. I want you to watch what Lauren Boebert did with it. Play this video. Thank you. Have a nice day. We hope you take action on gun violence prevention. Picture that. Yeah. God. That is horrific. And just so you all know, 10 year old Mai Tai Rodriguez was a lover of animals and the environment. She dreamed of becoming a marine biologist and she often wore those pair of green Converse, her favorite color, high top Converse shoes with a heart drawn in marker over her right toes. Lauren Boebert took that and threw it in the garbage. I mean, look, why are they so cruel? Why are these MAGA Republicans so devoid of humanity and compassion? And even if you for some reason disagreed with the message of common sense gun control when it comes to the proliferation of assault weapons, why not just show compassion for the victim of the shooting who lost her life and the victim of school shootings who lost their life? Instead, here's what MAGA Republicans do. You have Andrew Clyde, MAGA Republican, handing out AR-15 pins. So while MAGA Republicans are throwing out the green Converse shoe pins, to honor the life of a 10-year-old girl, they're wearing AR-15 pins instead of the United States lapel. Here's uh, some photographs. Here you've got um, Anna Luna, Paul Anna Paulina Luna wearing one of these AR-15. You got George Santos wearing it. These were passed out for all MAGA Republicans to wear, and many MAGA Republicans wore it. And you know this video of Lauren Boebert reminded me of some other times she's been caught on tape. So here is the 911 call uh, that we uh, played about a month ago that we um, uh, played here on the Midas Touch Network where Lauren Boebert, uh, Lauren Boebert's son called 911, said that uh, Lauren Boebert's now ex-husband, but his uh, the, the boy's father was abusing him and hitting him. Then Lauren Boebert gets on the phone call and says, you don't need to show up. No one's being hit. Everything's fine. And silencing her son, a victim of abuse. Play the clip. He's just like throwing me across the house. <laughs> he got, I don't know why he got mad. He just started yelling at me and he started throwing me. <laughs> Jason Boebert. All I wanted to say, all I wanted to say is me and my dad were starting to yell at each other. He didn't really get physical with me. It was just like, I was overwhelmed. Wait, hang on. Me, me and my dad were over, hang on. Hi. I'm the mom. Hi. Um, okay, so there was an argument over dinner. I understand you guys got to come and talk to them. I'm down at our second location with... I was already here getting things ready for an event, but I don't know. I was talking to him, and he had said that he had called. So just to let you know, I have him. His dad's up at, at the house. Yeah, he had told me he was going to be down at the farmhouse, and I've got him headed that way to help him. 
it's not, yeah, he doesn't need help, but they can, they can come here. Yeah. You know, when Lauren Boebert and her husband have a long criminal rap sheet, I mean, just such unqualified, just bad, mean, mean, nasty individuals. Like who, who does that? Here is uh, another 911 call um, that we covered about 11 months ago. Um, and this was Lauren Boebert's neighbor calling the police and talking about how uh, the Boberts and the Boebert kids are just causing havoc in the neighborhood. Play this clip. 911, what's the address of the emergency? Repeat the address for me one more time Sir? to make sure I have it correct. <clears throat> Silk, Colorado. Okay, perfect. Your phone number you're calling me from, sir. All right, that's what we're showing here as well. Tell me exactly what happened. There's a domestic situation happening right in front of my driveway, and now it, he's driving away, I think, just about okay. fighting. There's a, it's bad, it's Lauren Boebert's jackass husband, Jason. He's running over my mailbox right now. Stop, you jackass! Get the fuck out of here! And he, you said Come he on, man! Over your what mailbox? are you doing? What did we do wrong? I live here. I didn't even. Sir, talk to me, here. sir. Yes. Okay, yeah. I need There's some. There's about to be some shit going down here. Okay, okay. Who is the gentleman that's going to your mailbox? Jackass husband. Lauren. Jason Bobert. Jason. Okay. Lauren Bobert. What's husband. he driving? Yeah, Lauren Bobert, the congresswoman. He's uh -huh. driving a Ford pickup F-150. He's racing back up to his house. What his color is that Ford? Up and down the neighborhood. Okay. Dark gray. Charcoal Dark gray. gray. His and you said it was a domestic a is neighborhood and a razor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well he, he and her were it arguing just about came to blows is Huh? Who was Jason yeah, arguing? Yeah, there's a lot of arguing. Okay. Who was Jason arguing Everybody with? Everybody in the, the end of your driveway. Okay. So, is his wife there George or is Chong he just is at the end of my driveway. My wife is here. I'm here. My neighbor's here. Okay. His kid was racing up and down our 25-mile-an-hour street doing 50 miles an hour in a razor, and then he he told okay. my neighbor to fuck off when he came out to tell him to slow down, and the next thing we know, his dad, Jason, comes down here so. trying to claim that somebody took a, a swing at his kid, and nobody did. But this guy, Jason Bobert, is as dumb as a post, but this guy is so irrational. So irrational. He just got chest to chest, face to face, looking to fight. And we're talking about everybody in the neighborhood. Okay. Everybody here is a neighbor. So he just drove off. He's at his house. He just lives he up have, the street. He's at his house now? Yep. Okay. I think my neighbor called the sheriff earlier, or 911. Do you, what's I don't the, what's know. the address of his house, sir? Response. Do you know the address of I his don't house? Know. Okay. Nope. And it, okay. I'm on. He's on the same side of the street, probably four houses up. Okay. Um, Has anybody been drinking or doing drugs? I don't know. Not okay. not anybody here. <laughs> Okay. We just live here. We just were asking his kids to slow down, and he flipped out. Understand? Jason's completely. probably drunk, so okay. he's probably you could probably did get he him have any weapons? Because he just drove down here. Sir, yeah, did he have I'm any sure weapons? He's loaded to the hilt. Do you know who his wife is? I Lauren do. Bobert. She's okay. loaded. They all have guns. Yes. Okay. Just had I don't know if anybody has guns on them. <laughs> okay. I would guess he's sure. drunk, and yeah, of course he owns guns. Are you okay? It's Has anybody been injured? I'm fine. I'm just a okay. little rattled. I can't believe what's going on here, and the cops haven't shown up, and now it's all over, but I still wouldn't let him get away with it. <laughs> okay, and sir, what's your I name? I mean, please? he's threatened everybody that I know that's standing here right now. What's your name, sir? And your last name, sir? Yep. Perfect. Thank you. And you said he threatened you? He did not. Well, he, he just told me to shut the fuck up. I just, I didn't say a word. Okay. <laughs> I was standing next to my mailbox, but he was about to run over. And I walked up there, and you heard that part of the conversation. But he had already told me to shut the fuck up. And he was pissed off at my neighbor because told his son to slow down on his razor, ripping up okay. and down the neighborhood. That's all he did. He didn't do anything bad. He told him to slow down. He flagged him down on the razor by waving his hand, 
the kid stopped. He said, please slow down. This is a residential street. There's kids and animals all over the place. And the kid, of course, being who he is, said, fuck off, and gunned it and ripped down the street about 55 miles an hour. And then five minutes later, he shows back mm -hmm. up in the passenger seat with his dad driving a pickup truck, a Ford F-150, and that's when all hell broke loose. And I ran. I was out on the street. I had to run up to my house 100 yards away and grab my phone to call you. And by the time we were on the phone and I got back out to the street, you heard the rest. <laughs> okay. We're getting this out to the officers. i got three in route to you, okay? Thank you very much. Absolutely. Anything else you need from me? Nope, that'll be everything. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Thank you. Thanks, Thanks goodbye. Bye-bye. 911, what's the address of the emergency? Um, we got these teenagers going up and down the street on this, uh, in the Zoom buggy, um, and they won't even stop. They won't even stop with us in the middle of the road. And, the, and they're, not, they're young, they're going up now, just the Bobarts. If you know who the Bobarts are? I do not, I'm sorry. Oh, anyway, I need a sheriff out here. Okay. And exactly where is this happening? What's your address there so I can give them a good location um, from? I live at... And then when you get here, I can I can ride up to you to their house. Okay. So you know who's, who is I know who it correct? is. Yeah, okay. yeah. I don't know the kid's name exactly. They got four boys. Gotcha. Lord Hang on real quick. And what are they doing? Our wonderful Congress. They're speeding, they're, they're speeding, you know, those doom buggy things everybody's driving now, those, mm -hmm. those razors or whatever. He's just speeding up and down the road, all over the place, just freaking through his property, up. Um, okay. Up, just, he's going like 50 miles an hour, and this is a residential okay. lane. There's kids, and he just, and he just, we, stopped, we tried to stop him, and he just okay. freaking tested us and just left. Okay. I want to tell All right. Him. What's your name and phone number, please, ma'am? My name is, and my phone number is. And just repeat that phone number to make sure I have it correct, please. I might get nine. Okay, that's what we're showing here as well. Thank you. Let me go ahead and get this out to my officers, okay? If they do come okay. back, definitely call us back immediately, okay? Okay, well, thank you. All right, thank you. Okay, bye -bye. okay thank you. Bye-bye. And here is Lauren Boebert, you know, prancing on a stage. I think she did this at a at a church um, uh, and threatening President Biden's life on stage while quoting scripture here. Play this clip. God said that he was the provider. I know that Jesus said that he that we would be blessed, but I just don't know about this month. And Jesus is right there at the table with you. Sam, what kind of conversation is this? Why are you talking like this and why are you sad? Jesus, don't you know? We're out of money. COVID's hit, they shut everything down. Joe Biden's president. We don't know what to do, Lord. It's all right, we pray for our presidents. Uh, you know, it says, let his days be few and another take his office. That's why I filed articles of impeachment for Joe Biden. Unfortunately, he does have a really great insurance policy named Kamala Harris. You know, Lauren Boebert's conduct here is symptomatic of what it, a MAGA Republican is today. This is how they act. They're cruel. They're inhumane. They look at gestures of love and humanity and pervert them. It's one of the main things that we cover here at the Midas Touch Network because large media networks aren't going to cover it. And it's to talk about love and compassion and family and humanity, and decency, and normalcy. That behavior by Lauren Boebert, that's not, that's just lacking the values of what we should be here in the United States of America. And that should transcend political affiliation, political ideology. 
Lauren Boebert, while she disgraces that position she holds, she's in a position of power. And when she's in that position, and these MAGA Republicans are in this position, the fact that they use it and wield it so recklessly, so irresponsibly, aiding and abetting crime and aiding and abetting the overthrow of our democracy in cruelty for cruelty's sake. That's why it's so critical, though, that we speak to family members and coworkers and colleagues and neighbors and people in our community and people in the country who we communicate with and let them know that we're decent people, that we care, that we love, that we have compassion. That's one of the things I love about the Midas Mighty Network. Um, and by the network, I mean the community. I mean all of you. That's so important. And that's why we call out this behavior. It's sickening. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 1.5 million subscribers. Thanks to your support. Have a great day. Hey, Midas Mighty. Love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.